Hi, AutoCAD is a drafting and design solution for architects and engineers and it is developed in 1982. Since then, the software has undergone several changes. Some versions are called evolutionary version because one version got evolved to another version with some additional features in it. But certain versions we call as revolutionary version and the latest release of AutoCAD is AutoCAD 2020 which is the best AutoCAD ever. If you want to explore the new features in the latest version, I have provided links at the upper right corner as well as at the description section of this video. Some of you may not be familiar with this software. Some of you may be using this software for quite some time, but you may not have explored all the possibilities and effective methods in this product because you may not have learned it systematically. If you belong to any of these categories, then these tutorials are meant for you. Welcome to the basic tutorials in AutoCAD. Before we proceed further, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel SubyrCAD if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. So let's get started. Let's start the journey by first understanding the interface of AutoCAD software. In this tutorial video, you will learn getting started with AutoCAD, application button, concepts of command and ribbon, search box and quick access toolbar or QAT. Now let's start with the first topic. Our entire course is based on AutoCAD 2016 version and even the latest version of AutoCAD has similar interface. When you consider AutoCAD 2020, which is the latest version, you can see all the interface elements in the previous releases and we can see some additional features in this release. I have provided links to the video which narrates the additional features in this latest release. But you need to explore that video only after the completion of this course. When you launch AutoCAD, you will get this particular screen. You will have a start tab on the left side then you will see a list of recently opened documents which can be scrolled and you can open any desired document from here. On the right side you will see a notification area which will give you some information related with AutoCAD software and you have a connect section over here with which you can connect to A360 or Autodesk 360 which is the cloud service offered by Autodesk company. You can save drawings to the cloud and you can open drawings from the cloud. Down below, I have a learn page. When I click over here, I will see number of tutorial videos related with AutoCAD training. Each of these videos are categorized in various sections. But I would like to create a new drawing now. So I will click on the create button and I have got the create page. Over here, I have an arrow. When I click on this arrow, I will see a number of templates. But I am not going to make use of any of these templates now because I am going to start a new drawing right from the scratch. I will click on the start drawing button and you will see the interface of AutoCAD software. At the upper left corner I have a button and this button is called application button. When I click over here I will get a menu. And this is called application menu. You must already be familiar with various items displayed here. When you click on new, you can open a new drawing file. Open will let you open an existing drawing. Save is used to save a drawing file. Save as will let you save a drawing file in a different file name. Export will let you export a drawing file in a variety of file formats including PDF. You can click on publish to publish your drawing in web compatible formats. Then you can click on print to plot your drawing. And you have drawing utilities over here with which you can change units. You can recover a damaged file and you can do things like that. And you can press close to close this drawing file. You have exit AutoCAD to exit from AutoCAD software. AutoCAD is basically a command based software. That means anything and everything you want to do in AutoCAD, you do that with the help of a command. What exactly is a command? A command in AutoCAD is defined as a valid instruction which is given by the user to the software for which the software responds back to the user by giving certain messages called prompts. 
all the commands available in AutoCAD are grouped over here. This particular area is the heart of AutoCAD software and it is called the ribbon. A ribbon interface is available from AutoCAD 2009 onwards. A ribbon is categorized into various tabs. For example, we have Home tab, Insert tab, Annotate tab, Parametric tab, etc. And each tab was subdivided into various panels. For example, under the Home tab, you will see a draw panel and inside the draw panel, you will see icons corresponding to line, polyline, circle, arc, etc. which are nothing but objects that can be drawn. When you click on the down arrow at the draw panel, you will see that more commands are grouped over here. When you take the cursor onto the corresponding commands, you will see a tooltip and a corresponding help. You can see down arrows at each panels. Hence, the ribbon gives access to almost all commands in AutoCAD. AutoCAD by default displays the entire ribbon. But if you want, you can control the display of this ribbon in three different ways. If you click over here, the ribbon will get changed to panel buttons. I'll make a click here. Now the draw panel got changed to a button. Similarly, the modify panel will also get transformed to a button. When you take the cursor to a particular button, you will get access to all commands which are grouped under that button. Next, if you click once more here, then the panel buttons will get changed to tabs. When you take the cursor onto these tabs, you will get access to the same number of commands. Now we have more screen space available. If you make one more click, you will see only the tabs. When you take the cursor onto these tabs and if you make a click, you will see the ribbon temporarily appearing on the screen. Suppose if I click on the line command and if I click on the start point, the ribbon will disappear. If you want, you can cycle through the same sequence to get all the states back. That means if I make a click here, you will get the full ribbon. You can keep clicking on this arrow to get back all those previous states. In the application menu, we have a search box which can be used to search any desired command in AutoCAD. The software will give you methods to access that command and you will get complete help related with that command. You can also invoke that command by clicking on it. For example, if I want to get information about the trim command, I can type trim at the search box. The software will give me the exact position of that command in the ribbon. It's available in the Home tab Modify panel and if I keep my cursor here, I'll get help related with that command. When I give a click there, I can invoke that command. Let's continue with the interface. This area is called the Quick Access Toolbar or QAT. In this area, you can see most of the commands which are available in application menu. You can open a new drawing, you can open an existing drawing, you can save a file, you can save a file in a different file name, you can plot it, you can undo and you can redo. Here you will see a down arrow. When you click on this arrow, you will get a drop down menu. In this menu, some options are checked and these options are displayed in the quick access toolbar. If you want a particular option in this menu to be displayed in the quick access toolbar, all you have to do is just make a click on that option. For example, if I want the workspace option to be displayed, just click on that option and you will see it appearing in the quick access toolbar. The workspace switcher will let you change your workspaces depending upon your requirement. If you want to perform two-dimensional drafting, you can stick to drafting and annotation interface. And if you want to perform basic 3D modeling, you can stick to 3D basics interface and you will see commands corresponding to basic 3D modeling. And if you want to perform advanced 3D modeling, you can click on 3D modeling interface and you will see more commands specific to advanced 3D modeling. You can also save a particular interface. Now I would like to switch over to drafting and annotation interface. Sometimes you might get this design feed panel and you can close this panel. You don't actually need to activate the workspace switcher at the quick access toolbar because we have the same options available in the gear icon at the status bar toggles. When you click at the gear icon, you will come across with the same options to switch the workspace. Now I'll click on this down arrow and I'll activate the show menu bar option and you will get a menu bar. When you take the cursor onto this menu bar, you will get a special type of menu called pull down menu. If you are switching over from older versions of AutoCAD, you must already be familiar with this menu. And in this menu, you will see all the commands which are available in the ribbon. 
We don't need this anymore, so I'll click on Hide menu bar. In this tutorial, we have learned getting started with AutoCAD, Application button, Concepts of Command and Ribbon, Search box and Quick Access Toolbar or QAT. In the next video, we will continue with Interface Elements of the AutoCAD screen.